as I was determined to build my own like heroes and spies having their own hideout. Another one of those moments would be expired by watching Yamakaze 2 or it would be known in its various other names such as uh, Bangkok Ninjas uh, where there is a scene they had a gym in which they trained and taught kids and they lived in it. Hence, in 2010, we had the A2 Fun House, a once a week set up space in Scape. Though eventually losing the space at the end of about 2012 and having outgrown their name as well, we eventually managed to strike out on our own in 2015 and managed to launch the Freelance Lodge. Parkour gym specifically built for parkour. <laughs> it can be really useful for one to pick up and pursue progression in a specific skill. With a safer and more controlled environment, one can expedite their growth. However, if training is done only in such space, then it will stun one's growth and create a gradual disconnect from what parkour truly started out to be. That sense of freedom spawned out of the confinements from the urban concrete jungle. As such, I will advocate a healthy balance to train in both parkour gyms and outdoor sites, if time and personal commitments allow. Prior trainings in the free and slow.